There's a good one. There we go. <laughs> right here by the boat ramp. The cut right ramp. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you're going to see it, but a bald eagle is going to fly right over me. You put the on to the front. It's right there. That was cool. <laughs> you'll, you'll see when I turn the boat. The boat ramp is right here. Hey everybody, coming to you from Lake Monroe right now. It's October the 12th, beautiful morning, the sun's out, nice and cool, gotta wear a hoodie. It's just my kind of day right here. Uh, launched at the cut right ramp today. Uh, I'm gonna try some different areas, I'm gonna go up in Middle Fork, check it out a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna check right here by the ramp too, see what we can catch before I head that far, you know. I hate to pass up some good fish because they're all over this lake, not just up in the upper ends of this lake, they're cleaned down by the dam too. Oh yeah, good fish, good fish. There we go, that's a nice keeper there. Show enough chartreuse crappie magnet, 11 inch fish. Come on, little guy, hit it. He, there, you got it. Ah, he ain't as little as I thought. Little 10 inch fish. Looks like a 10 inch hybrid. I do believe it is. Oh, good fish. Oh, yeah, good fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice slab, crappie. Nice. I heard that. It's probably 13 inches or so. Nice 14. Nice fish. There we go. That's what we... It's just a keeper. It's a little ten incher. Here it comes. Got it. Good fish. Oh yeah. There we go. Boy, they're fat enough for the winter too. That fish got a big old shed in its gut. <laughs> oh, I got him. That'll keep it. There we go. What a nice fish. Yeah, just quality fish.
There we go. It's not the one I was after, but it's a keeper. It's good eating size. Oh god, tank! Yeah. There we go. That's a good one. Yeah, good 13 inch fish. There he is. Good fish. There we go. That's a beauty. Solid. Another shad tail down its throat. Nice. Got him that time. Another keeper. fish I caught on that bait but it's been a bunch <clears throat> they took off of it so I'm literally fishing that deep about 18 inches maybe in some real shallow structure here. You can't swim a jig. Oh, there it goes. Oh, good fish. Keeper. You can't uh, swim a jig through because it, it goes through too quick. So, I threw on a bobber, slowed it down, put on a gun metal, and it works. There we go. Another keeper. <laughs> They're just perfect eating size. Yeah. Back out there. Oh, there's a better fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, these fish are in a couple feet of water. That's a good fish there. Nice. sit right here and have some fun. Another keeper. Yeah. 
Maybe a little, a little on the short side. Just a little gay. Tells me I need to, I need to look at some more shallow, shallow structure. These fish have moved way up. Nice one. I've had a nice mess of fish today. camera's not facing it and my GoPro doesn't want to work in this heat. These fish are really shallow right now. October the 12th, they are they are up in some skinny, skinny water. He looks huge because he's so shallow. Good fish. Wow, he ain't hit it back there. He inhaled it. All right, hey, thanks for watching my video. I had a spectacular day out on the water, as you've seen. Nice and calm conditions. Nice and cool in the morning, but then it heated up in the afternoon. Killed my GoPro camera, which I wish it would have kept playing because then you can see, you would have seen me throwing a bobber. And shoot, I was only fishing two foot of water. But I want to go over what I was using. Right there is the exact depth that I was fishing. Right there, I don't know, that's 18, 19 inches. It's not very deep, but the color of choice was that gunmetal. That's a crappie magnet, the original crappie magnet, gunmetal color, okay? Uh, reason why I had to throw bobber on is because these fish were in such shallow water if you pitch jigs out to them, they'd be on the bottom like that. And in order to keep them off the bottom, you got to reel so fast. These fish were active, but they weren't acting active enough to chase that bait that fast. So, in them shallow water fish, that's what I used. But in that deeper water, I'm talking deeper, six, seven foot. It isn't like it's crazy deep. But I was throwing this right here. It was a crappie magnet, show enough sartreuse. Great bait. Uh, water was pretty clean, so that's why I went with these little brighter colors. Otherwise, I would have went with the black and pink like you've seen me use a bunch of times down around Lake Monroe. So I hope this helps. I better talk about the pole, too. Russ Bailey, 10 and a half footer. 
I love these poles. Got the beating him 100 spinning reel on them. One of my favorites right here. So, not the guy. Nah, just kidding, Russ. I hope you watch this. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Got any questions, anything like that, shoot them to me. I'll be reading in the comments there. So, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I have some more videos coming out soon. Thank you.